Guys, let's have a conversation. First off, hi. How's everybody doing tonight? We're back. It's been two weeks, right? Has it been? I think it's been two weeks. Has it been two weeks? Something like that. Um, let me... So, uh, for those that don't know, your glorious king here, your favorite YouTuber, has, uh, was unfortunately, um, hit with the COVID again, uh, last week. Not this week, even though this week's basically over, but last week. Uh, Tuesday, I went to work, right? And I was like, okay. It's going to be a regular day. Not this Tuesday. It was last Tuesday. It's a quick story time, by the way. Um, and I was like, damn. I feel kind of ass. But um, you know what? I'm going to thug it out. And I'm going to get right through it. I damn near thugged it out. <laughs> um, I woke up Wednesday. And I'm like, damn, bro. I feel even more ass. So, I called out of work. I said, yeah. I said, hey, how y'all doing? No. Went right the hell back to sleep. All right. Went right back to sleep. Wednesday night. My mom brings home some COVID tests. I was like, you know what? Why not? Because I'm feeling a little, I've been taking my temperature so many times. I don't have a fever. I'm like, you know what? Maybe I just got a little something. Wednesday, I take the day off. I'll feel fine Thursday. Them COVID tests? <laughs> Bitch. Immediately positive. So I had to call the next morning. I was like, I know y'all know about COVID. Yeah, I got that joint. So I had to stay home. All week until month until this uh most recent Monday. And I ain't gonna lie to y'all, it was kinda lit. But it also was not kinda lit. If y'all have had COVID, bro, for me at least, my whole sinuses and like my whole chest, mainly up here, bro, I can barely breathe, dog. My whole nose is either stuffy or runny. It's not, it's not one or the other. It's whack, right? And then my coughing, bro, I sound, I actually sound like I'm dying. I legit sounded like I was dying. And then let's not even talk about me just getting up and doing something, bro. Just walking up and like going to the kitchen. Brother, I said, like, I was, I was immediately dead. I was like, bro, I can't do anything. I can't do anything. I am now feeling better, thank you. Obviously. No, I'm still sick, guys. I'm still sick. That's why I'm streaming right now. But it's come on, guys. Um, so that's why there wasn't a stream last week. Can I be completely honest with y'all though? I don't think I would have streamed last week anyway. Because what dropped? Let's let's keep it real. What dropped last week? Let me just I'm going to just take a quick peek, and hopefully I don't disrespect nobody that I'm a fan of. Let me just go back. <sighs> like, what was there, bro? Bro, no EPs. 18,000 singles, but no EPs. Actually, you know what? Well, we probably could have had a solid new music stream, but it would have been, it would have been just Veer, Epic, Temanite. 
Mara I would have liked to listen to the Murata live because I love that song. A lot of people don't like Gleeful God, but you know what? I rock with it. I rock with it. Um, I can't do Monster Cat singles because uh, I'll get cooked by copyright. Rob Gasser, freaking Ray Volpe. That, that song is mid as hell. Um, the effing track is cool. The more Kismet and Wink is unfortunately a kind of underwhelming. Can't can I just be real? I'm not gonna like go into detail. I'm not crazy about the more Kismet and Wink song. Um, and I haven't been crazy about Wink really at all. I mean, he cool, but like I'm not like I'm, I don't know. I just don't really can. I don't just don't really feel that connection with Wink. So you know, it was it was all right. It was all right. Uh, the Kanoto song was unfortunately a bit underwhelming for me as well. The fa phases. I'm just not crazy about his future rhythm stuff. I'm sorry. Little Texas? Yeah, no. Good. Who dropped EPs, bro? Who who dropped EPs? Like, who is... I'm No, you know what? I'm not even going to go there. So, yeah, there wasn't really much last week anyway. So, you know what? Screw it. We got we got some decent stuff today though. We got some decent stuff today. Um who we got in the chat? We got my boy Irie, Abstral, Novasai, Bottom Text, Zytra. Uh yes, Stontavius Roboclick, of course. You will not let that go. I understand. Uh JF. Never heard of you, but hey, hey, we always welcome new people into the mix. Uh, Tippy, of course. Your ass is late. Technically, you're not late, really, because we have not. T technically, none of y'all are late because we haven't started yet. Uh, but I had to just get some stuff off my chest, including a respiratory virus known as COVID-19. Uh, a couple new people in here. Fortnite Shay. All right. Sweet. Daz Daniel Zuvio, the horny GD brave. You know what, guys? And I thought Primal Rights was an interesting name. Uh, Silence. X. Gravity. Got some old... We got some old heads in here. We got some OGs, bro. Pella Project. I haven't heard your name in 18 years, dog. I ain't gonna even lie to you, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Did someone say horny? Hey. Look, they do not. Up. All right. I hope y'all are having a great day, and I hope y'all are having a great week. Um... Or hope y'all had a great week. Because I... I did. I guess. Um, it was it was normal as hell. So, I can't complain. If y'all ever just having a normal ass week, and somebody asks, Hey, how, how you doing? How's your, how's your week going? How's your day going? And literally nothing happened? Just say, can't complain. I mean, that's, you can't complain, bro. Put Drake on the screen. Literally, who have you been talking to this whole time? Are we watching the same live stream? I am Drake. All right. When did you decide to grow a beard as masculine as yours? I don't know how to answer that. Um, I just, I literally, I grow hair so fast. <laughs> the leaked video dog. Hey, guys. All right, let's get into some new music. We got... No. Um, that was last week, or the week before. We got new Beast Boy, guys. Look, I mean, come on. It's the North Carolinian... Neo... I don't know what else to call him. Beast Boy, a groundbreaking dubstep producer from the rich musical terrain of North Carolina has captivated listeners worldwide with his awe-inspiring soundscapes. Uh, you know what? I'm not reading all that. That's a lot to read. Um, but we got new we got new Beast Boy, y'all. Um, I like to call him B-Boy because sometimes his vocals, his ta sometimes his tag is so compressed, it just, like, the S just disappears, and it's cute. I also have uh, Gatorade Zero. No sugar. Or Gatorade Zero Sugar. Um, because I don't. We're on a diet. We're not on a diet. I just had some chicken sandwiches. I had two chicken sandwiches, two Swiss cake roll like things, like two of the packs, and then um, some chocolate milk. We're not on a diet. We're not on a diet. Let's go ahead and check out this new Beast Boy, guys. It won't feel love the same. 
Uh, this one was previewed on his showcase, and it's a banger, so. Not sponsored, by the way. That <laughs> American diet, bro. Is it loud? And I got water, of course. I'm hydrated. FIFA ad music. What's up, guys? Welcome back to some more FIFA Let's Play. Today, we're we're on, we're doing some pack openings, team of the years, team of the seasons, hundred a million coins, FIFA coins. I used to watch all of them back in the day. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I had a quick phase. I watched all of them pack openings, bro. Disciple Chat was not happy. Disciple Chat is six years old. A uh, six year old, all right? Don't listen to them. If it's not barely alive or virtual riot, they just, they hate everything. They're also just pissed that we haven't got a comp in like over two years. I mean, I'm definitely understanding of like the concern of lack of compilations but they're also still giving us like good good music so i'm not really complaining about that part beast boy rocket league bro that would be crazy Not a bit too loud. Damn, for real. You love me to say. Maybe I gotta turn my mic volume up a bit. I'll do that real quick, too. Alright. Yeah, at least we're getting a disciple release. We have a round table in like three weeks. Is, you know, not normal. Sometimes the cycle is just really inconsistent. And with them being like the top in the game, you know, everybody looks at the cycle first. It's like, hmm. Okay, this was sick. This was great. Freaking summer bop, right? Like that was that was really that was really fun. Um brings Beast Boy brings such a good character into Disciple. Like he has such a his art, his music, just him as a person has such a personality that Disciple needed so bad. Um if you ask me and um I think he's just such a good like guy to build bridges in edm for like disciple and like other producers to come into the game as well so cool song i think i enjoy burn a little bit more i'm i'm gonna say but i like this and i think we obviously know this is part of an album he said it himself which is going to be extremely exciting and if it's gonna have like different variations, stuff like this, then um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited here. 
So yeah, that was a, that was a fun freaking tune, dude. I actually like that it's down like a a, a semitone, because uh, in the showcase it was it was it was a it was a an octave higher. Um, okay, give me one second. I have a quick list of uh, stuff that I'm I'm listening to tonight. Caught me sleeping normal. Ba, 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 ba. Okay. That Mensa side has been stuck in my head all day. <laughs> all day. And I mean all day. Um, hello. Okay. All right. <sighs> So, you know, Control Freak, I haven't been crazy about his music for actually quite some time, but I'm always willing to give him another chance. The last time we checked him out was on, uh, there was a collab with Invaders, and it was a song that I've wanted forever. And you know, I was still I was still mixed because of the um the second drop. So yeah, I'm I'm willing to give this one a shot though. So OMG anthem. I hope I go OMG while listening to this. I do love like his mix downs and stuff. Oh I love his low end a lot. Dude, that's I told bro, this mix stuff. Hey, what's up, Will? Can we get a W Will in the chat, bro? I don't know, it is a weird mix, but I kinda like it. I kinda like it. I don't know why. I kinda I kinda like it. I love the I love the clap actually like a lot. I got it. This is one of those songs that you have to hear live. You just you have to hear it live. I don't go to festivals though. I want to, but I'm broke. Also, did y'all see? Speaking of shows, is this just okay? Cool. Did y'all see? UK is doing a tour, like another tour with Arctic. If he wasn't, if he was anywhere in North Carolina, because I didn't see any dates for North Carolina, but if he has dates, like in the future. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Cause uh cause I would love I would love to go. Oh, okay. Alright. Let's Hello Lunatic. How you doing? Uh no, I have not done Joe B yet. Relax. I I see y'all in the chat. Relax. Gotta save the best for last, guys. Okay. 
Um, we got new, uh, Sudden Death and Marshmallow, like, EP. Um, wow, Ceremony is 2 million plays. <laughs> um, I think Ceremony and Triumphant, uh, came out first. They already came out, so I've heard them already. We heard Ceremony, actually. No, we didn't. No, that was the sub that was the Space Laces collab. <sighs> Uh, but Ceremony and Triumph that came out first. I've heard those already. They're they're dope. Uh, but we have three new tracks. We have Fireball, Vortex Blade, and Burn It Down with Jedwill. Okay. This will be interesting. I'm excited to check these out. Let's get it. I hate this panning so much. Oh my god. What is what are you doing to my ears? That was so uncomfortable, bro. Okay, we're good. Why did it do that? Why did it do that to my- Ugh! Ugh! Fireball! Oh, they're not playing no games. They is not playing. Bro, imagine like those six-year-old Marshmallow fans like going and checking this out. They're like, <laughs> what the hell happened? What happened to my glorious King Marshmallow? Yeah, this is this part is too much for me, I'm afraid. I can't get into stuff like this. This little section. Are we getting like a a mid-tempo section? Looks like it. Marshmallow do. Got Vortex Blade. I'm just guy. It's just a question. I'm like genuinely curious. Cause if Marshmallow did that, what the hell? Square four? Ain't no way.
so what did Marshmallow do? Like, that, it's just a question, bro. Because I don't want Marshmallow to, like, be in the same position that a lot of people think uh, DJ Diesel's in. Where it's like, they just throw his name on there and, like, he, like, says a vocal and that's all he did in production. But people go crazy because it's Shaquille O'Neal. Like, that, but, but, but Marshmallow actually, like, is a producer, so, like, there has to be something he did, right? I don't, I don't hear it. I don't hear it. Marshmallow did the drums. Hell, I could do that. Let me, let me do the drums, bro. Like, my, my biggest guess would be, like, Marshmallow did some of the hi-hats and, like, a sudden lunatic, thank you for the two. Has a big part of the production. Well, I would hope so because he's on the song. But like maybe like Sudden Death did like kind of the sound design and then like Marshmallow maybe did like the flows? Like actually like lay down patterns? Oh. oh. But it makes you question like because you hear Marshmallow, you think of like trap, right? You don't think of like dubstep or rhythm like this. So you know, it's like what? Like what did he do? But I can hear more. I guess I can hear more Marshmallow on that one than definitely Fireball. So, uh, yeah. Uh, burn it down with Jedwell out of all people. Locals. It has to be Marshmallow. It has to be. Interesting. Interesting. I think that was the best uh, interpretation of uh, those three. You got the little melodic bits. Marshmallow probably did. 
the melodic bits and then obviously sudden death drums and like heaviness under that and then you got the little mid section which was obvious which definitely sounded more marshmallow as well and then jed will is singing throughout i don't know if jed will actually had anything to do with the production scheme or if they were just on vocals but either way uh cool i think overall that was probably the best one i think that's the one i would go to back the most out of the new three uh, but if I'm, like, absolutely pissed off, I probably would go to Fireball and just rain fire on everybody and just rain destruction on everything. <laughs> um, definitely a great workout track. But again, I'm not a big metal guy, like a screamo metal guy, so I don't know. It'd be, it'd be, it'd be interesting to go lift to that or even to go run to that. I don't know. But cool. That was, um, that was that one. That was cool i like i i do i do like that these two like did something like this like it's been it's been teased it's been teased for a long time we did hear conquer last time we did a stream thank you for the two dollars again you don't have to donate every time you want to ask a question though but i'll take my free uh zaxby's four for four meal no that's wendy's i'll take my free zaxby's uh number one combo thank you um <laughs> anyway uh yeah i think that's all i had to say about that one it's uh it's dope i like i like the i like the mellow death i wonder this just has me wondering because i mean marshmallow's been collabing with a lot of people hall um there was also space laces i have a feeling there was more than that but this just has me thinking like who else is he going to is he going to work with, you know? Like uh what is Zaxby's? <sighs> okay. Must not be uh in an area where you live. It's a chicken, it's a it's a it's a res it's a chicken restaurant. It's like a Chick-fil-A or a Bo Bojangles or a, um Popeyes, you know, stuff like that, but it's really freaking good. Oh Lord Jesus, it is so good. Yeah, it looks like that's all he's really collabed with in um when it comes to um like rhythm dubstep. So because I don't know who these other people are, but man, he collabs with a lot. Oh, what is all this like dude? He had like a whole Latin phase. El Merengue? For, uh he worked with dioro like he worked with drop killers wait i'm not gonna listen to this but look at this bro i doubt y'all know who drop killers is bro but bro that's crazy bro this artwork is wild i just looked at it okay let me let me go to the next project i'm getting uh, this is getting out of hand guys look kids look away okay there's no guillot on the screen. All right, we're gonna listen to uh, we're gonna listen to some ominous. All right, I don't remember the last time we had a new ominous uh, EP. And to be completely honest with y'all, I think the last time I heard of any ominous ever or actually like really paid attention to him was um, make some noise, and that was a song. I think if y'all remember my reaction to that, it was a uh, it was a song. But, almost you have five chances. You do have some songs that I do enjoy. Uh, your last Never Say Die Black Label EP was pretty cool. So, uh, <laughs> the artwork is is definitely something. I don't know what Guerneville is. Um, sure. I'll see, I'll see what y'all think about it as well. Y'all seem pretty excited. But, uh, let's give it a shoddy waddy. I will never say that again in my life. Hands up. Put your hands together for Ominous! I do like the groove of this already. Oh. 
are just busted? This is a PG family friendly stream. Oh my God, this dude said it's all over the screen. I'm dead. Like, what are we talking about? What you said that so nonchalantly, I'm sorry. Ooh, I just busted. <laughs> I'm I. I'm moving on. I, I'm so, that was just very unexpected for me to see right now. I don't usually see that. Some things you can just keep yourself. Oh man. It does sound kind of mono to me, a little bit, but I really still like the sound design. The flow is cool. I can rock with this. Clean up on aisle my pants, bro. I edged this immediately. Clean up on aisle my pants. Oh wait, no, it's I couldn't edge to this. Moving on. It's just, it's kind of sad. With like all these new memes coming out with like the brain rot and stuff. Just imagine what like elementary and middle school teachers have to deal with, bro. Miss Brown has that giot. Like, bro, get expelled. Like, what are you talking about? Uh, I I guarantee you, Giat is like the most used word in all of middle and elementary school. Bro. It is so sad. One of my friends does daycare and the children are mewing. Daycare? We're talking about fetuses, bro? Like two year olds? Two year Last time I checked, two year olds couldn't eat. What are they doing mewing? Who are they trying? To impress. By the way, I cannot mute. I just, I simply cannot. All right. I did it one time though, and it's it's the thumbnail of this video or the stream. But that was the one time I did it. It was a very, it was a very special occasion. So I actually, I had to. I had to pull it out. Pause? I don't know. I don't know what's happening anymore. I feel high. We're talking about two-year-olds mewing and listening to some weird rhythm with a pug with glasses and a chain with a cigarette. This is my life. Sit. God. This is definitely ominous. Instead of going out to a bar and actually socializing with people, this is what I do with my time. I hope y'all are happy. So stupid. <laughs> okay, I finished. I'm gonna start banning people, bro. Like, how old are we talking here, bro? How old are we talking? That sounds crazy. I'm never streaming again. How old is this song? That's not what I was talking about. Almond Nut. Alright, awesome. Thanks, guys. Tippy, how old is this song? Because you said it was old. She all on my... Oh my might. That doesn't even work, bro. I'm banning everyone. Did you 
already looked into Joe B. Joe B. Z. P. Who is Joe B? Who is that? Okay. It sounds like the end of the song, but there's like 30 seconds left. Alright. Dragon, this is your last warning, bro. This dude just said Primal the Professional Dot Buster. Next, one more time is gonna be a weak band, bro. Cause there, cause there ain't no way. You gotta hear Joe B's new EP, guys. Who is this Joe B that y'all are talking about? I don't. I've never heard of Joe B, bro. Oh, are we getting some jump up, bro? <laughs> she got with your dash. I'll stop. Biden. Oh, awesome! I didn't know Joe Biden made dubstep. I knew it was gonna be something just unbelievably horridly different than the inch. Y'all know that one meme where it's like they have like a, a jump up, uh, like uh, instrumental playing like this, and they just have a chair scraping the floor slowly. And it kind of sounds like a synth, literally like that. I think it's hilarious. He wouldn't finish a track because he'd walk away before it's finished. That's crazy. Like an 87 track LP that I will not be putting my time into. I'm sorry. I think I think the CP's enough. I do like this intro though. This very intro and then freaking drop. Like, bro, it just like what? The intro's so good and the drop makes me sad. Yeah. It's it's definitely for a very specific audience. The mix down is really good, so, you know, there's always that. I am the specific audience. <laughs> well, hey, welcome to the stream, because we're usually rhythm dubstep people over here. I, I can't. 
That's there's like eight seconds left. Who is your favorite bass artist right now? It's probably Hugh K. Probably Hugh K. Um, you can't really put more kismet into like bass because like they're more like like I don't know. That's that's discussion from the day. I'll, I'll just say Hugh K. Yeah, because. I'm not gonna get into Y2K because everyone knows why. So. All right, feed on the dead. This dude is a zombie. Oh, oh, we're getting more DMB, bro. I'm worried. We're getting more. Hey, at least this sounds a bit more like. <laughs> bro, just imagine the drop is gonna be the exact opposite, bro. All the way down had that that in like that happy intro and then the heavy drop. This is like a scary intro, and then watch it just be like color based or something so stupid, bro. I'd actually cry laughing. I would actually cry. I don't think that'll happen. Though. I do, I do like how goofy it is though. I'm not gonna sit here and lie. Favorite UK song. Right now it's Brainiac, but of all time it's probably the Heartbreak remix. This is ridiculous, bro. Y'all would actually cook me if I up, if I made a song like this. Be honest with me. If I released a song exactly like this, would y'all cook me? Would y'all cook me, bro? I love you. Yeah, you like this stuff. I feel like I'd lose so many followers, dog. I did try to make, um, like, jump up like this, like, very, like, simple. It didn't work. And then I made Sensory. <laughs> Which is out now. It's like two years old. I would- Alright. I don't know what is going on with y'all tonight, man. Y'all are getting a little too comfortable in this chat room. Report your channel for child endangerment. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Brother, what does this have to do with your y'all? I can't do this. Like, brother, what do you mean? God, this song is eight years long, bro. I have a headache. Come on, bro! Is this... No, this is actually ridiculous. It's literally the same thing, bro. This is actually a bit outrageous now. This is ridiculous. Hey, y'all like the shirt, though? Y'all like the shirt? Hey, by the way, since we're since we're here, I am currently watching uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. I'm on like episode 16, uh, season one. And obviously, please no spoilers. But I'm not like so far. I'm not like crazy about it. It's cool. But like, I'm not like, I'm not really feeling like an insane connection to it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm trying and I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna finish it. Cause I don't like to just like watch like a couple episodes and be like, oh, this shit was mid as hell. Like, 
No, I gotta finish. Like, they have a whole second season as well, bro. That I gotta freaking finish. Um, anime reactions went. Doesn't... Wouldn't I get, like, absolutely destroyed by copyright for doing that? That would be fire. But I don't know how I would possibly do that. It gets better. I think... Dude, I feel like... Um, this is not spoiler. This doesn't spoil anything. I just feel like there's so much... Like, there needs to be more fighting, bro. Bro, there'd be a two-second fight. Boom! Pop! Bam! Right? You're no match for me. Like, bro, whoop his ass! Like, what are we doing, bro? Damn! This Gatorade, I think I... Oh, I'm gonna pass out in a couple hours. Okay, yeah, the song is finally done. Holy hell, we have one more track, bro. I'm absolutely scared. What are we... Twerk Simulator? I see one person say primal twerk, I will ban everybody. I will ban everybody. I will ban everybody in the stream, bro. That's so we you ominous bro come on man why is this the best track i am tired of yoga dog like bro that actually just this that just Caught me so off guard, bro. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, we're back into rhythm, bro. Like, what? really like this part. That was fire. I need a pee break. BRB!
That was lovely. Mm. Guys, I got this like cut on my finger. I mean, it's not bad. I'm not going to show it. I mean, it's right here. But I don't know how I keep getting these random cuts on my shit, though. And it hurts. It hurts every time I wash my hands or like take a shower. It like stings, bro. Why did you not bring the camera? Yeah, that's a week. That's a week. Okay. Um, just get rid of all these recent searches. Okay, y'all told me to check out this um, Joe B guy. Um, I I never heard of him before. Okay, there we go. Uh, looks like he dropped a new EP. Um, called. Hazard statements. Um, I don't. I've never heard of this guy before, but I'm sure if everybody said, "All right, let me stop fucking playing around, dog." It's time, bro. Uh, look, I'm not. All right, I have to prepare. First off, where is Boom? Is he in here? And no, he. You know what? He's dead. That's. <laughs> Boom is still in his coffin, bro. He's still sitting there. He's not joining the stream. Okay. So. I believe the first three tracks were on the pellet. What? I read pellet project's name in chat. ADHD, guys. The pet... Potent and purified, Lord help me. I'm already screwing up. Uh, volume one. The first three were on there. Apparently, this next one, or the last one, Fatal If Inhaled, is not on uh, the showcase. So, that's going to be interesting. But I do believe I know one, two, it tracks one, two, and three. I do believe I know which ones they are. And if if I remember correctly, uh, tracks one and three specifically, I know, um, they will, they will cause basically the names of what they are. So like it causes severe skin burns. They will, I will, I will have severe skin burns all over my skin. Uh, and number three, I will just die of poison. Uh, toxic if swallowed. No. Uh, number two, from the preview load, I wasn't, that was actually one of my least favorites from, uh, Potent and Purified. Of the Vex U clap, but obviously I think it's still gonna be pretty damn good, so I'm not worried about that. And of course, we have the song in full, so I think it'll still be good. Um, any last words? Any last words y'all want to say? Um, because um, this is gonna be eventful. It's gonna be a moment in history. <sighs> I'm gonna, okay. I will allow, all right, this one time, I will allow everything to be said. <laughs> I will allow everything to be said. I don't care right now. Um, please note that hopefully all the crazy things that are going to be said in my chat are jokes. This is for entertainment purposes only. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be a blast. All right, guys. Let's freaking get it. Let's not waste no more time.
Joe. Freaking. B. Who wants it? I want it! Yeah, alright. I'm gonna cut the stream. Thanks, guys, for being here. One set. Yeah, oh my god, the first one. You don't put the first track from the showcase on the first song, bro, of the EP dog. Are we serious? Hey, it might be RIP my camera, bro. It might be RIP. It might be RIP my camera, dog. the mix down clean you have to pray to the mix down god bro how is he clean why is the mix down clean bro i will never i will ask this question for the rest of my life how is the mix down how is it what vacuum cleaner did you use bro to clean the mix you don't understand Get a shark! Like, no, it has to be some new technology that has not been introduced to the public. Because there's no way! We are now into new territory, and we are probably going to pass. No way. This intro, this, this little section does not make sense. benefit of the doubt. Joe 
the fills are so weird. It's like it's backwards. It's like it's in reverse. Something's in reverse in that. It's like the re there's something with the reverb and stuff like that. It's just like, bro, oh, what? I don't like the snare very much. I'm sorry. I'm gonna be that guy. I'm not crazy about the snare. Or whatever that is. I mean, it's acting like a snare. Damn. I'm really trying, but this is definitely probably gonna be my least favorite. Mixed down is still really good, really clean, but yeah, it's still hits, but it doesn't, it's just, that's the standard we have for Joe Beaver. And I think Vexu did his job. It's just not really, you know. She's not really up there in like the top. Like, causes severe skin burns is like real ass Jillian. All right. I'm actually going to add that to my playlist real quick before I forget. All right. Toxic Swallowed. I swear to Lord, if this is the song I'm thinking it is, bro. The hell? Oh, he's doing his chops, bro. Is this, is this a melodic one? Wait, it's that last one, isn't it? It's the one that goes dee 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 Is it that one? I'm out. I'm out. It's, it's wraps. Wrap the stream up. Wrap the stream up, bro. Hey, it's over. It's over. He really, he really fooled me with that one, bro. I ain't gonna hold y'all. I'm sitting here with my hands on my waist, dog. Two, three snare fills, and I knew which one it is, dog. I don't even know if I can sit back in my chair, to be honest with y'all. I might just, like, wrap it up. I gotta sit back down, bro. No, man. I got damn near 60 people, bro. I ain't finna let y'all down today. Just give me a second. I really thought it was that other one, bro. I got I got bamboozled, dog. Got back. I got back, bro. He really he really did me like that, bro. He really did me like that, bro. Yeah, no, like, let's... Like, bro. We're not doing it. Where the hell did it go? We're not doing this. Get the fuck back. Not doing this, bro. I'm sorry, y'all. Let me...
forgot about this part? Guys, I am trying so hard, bro. I'm struggling. I'm str I am struggling, bro. It's the mother freaking Reese's. Not doing this today, bro. Oh, shit. I'm high, bro. I'm not. I'm I. I let y'all down. Stand up, let's see it. See what, my brother? What do you mean by that? Oh, we're getting a new territory, bro. What do you... Guys, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. I have to sit here and listen to this music? Gonna delete my FL Studio and my SoundCloud and my YouTube channel, and and um um my Audius. I don't even have an Audius, but I'm gonna make an account and then delete it. Um, I'm gonna delete my Spotify, my Apple Music. Um, I'm gonna delete my Instagram, my Twitter. Um, you know, I think just as a whole here, as the chat is probably here agreeing with me today. We sit here in um, a moment of silence as we had to pause the song for the 50th time um, to where we just have to understand that, um, you know, and I try not to overreact, um, but just know if I was home alone, this would be a different story. Um, but I do have to limit myself. So with that being the case, the best thing I can do is pause the song and just kind of reminisce over how different life's going to be after attempting to make something on the level of Joby. And he's been doing this for years, right? This isn't his, this is not our first rodeo. Okay. Now, I'm going to play the song again. And I'm going to hear that, um, was it Push? Reference the vocal. Listen, you best keep walking. No, it was chain shot. The chain shot reference vocal. I'm going to hear that again, and I'm going to react the same way. But I'm not going to hit pause. Let's back it up. Let's back it up. Actually, a good much here, just so we can really. I'm on my knees. I'm on my knees. Bro. Pause on to a believe. No, no pause. There it is again. It's us over. Y'all was not lying to me, dog. I mean, I, why did I ever doubt his ability? Well, it doesn't make any sense. It just doesn't make any sense. He brought back the best part of the freaking song. Alright, bro, I, just, I don't understand. Uh, uh, uh. You don't do that, bro. You don't throw in a listen your best. You don't throw in a chain shot vocal reference from 2020, bro. It's been four, it's been three and a half years since Chain Shot, which is, again, one of his best songs. He really doesn't have any worst songs. Um, you know, it, it, it's hard. It's hard to, to, to tur and just look back at his list and be like, hmm, What's his worst song? I mean, I, I think you... I mean, oh, you know what? I'll be the guy. Step to me was not his best. Um, Was this a sustained one? Yeah, that one's kind of... That one kind of missed. Um, But I get it if you like it. There was another one. Fo uh, Foghorn? 
So he has, he has very few, and in my opinion, misses, but that's only because of my, like, personal, in, like, my personal enjoyment of of the track it's not because it's objectively like a bad track or anything like, like i think the mix downs are still fine blah 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 right um but you know it's tracks like these that make me appreciate joe b as like a, a creative prospect in the scene and also a want to quit artist you know there's very little of that um but here we are again all right but here we are here we are again um because because yeah, um, just I don't I don't get it. I don't understand. This is probably top five Joe B tracks uh, of all time. I mean, you got petrol for dinner. You got petrol for breakfast. People don't talk about petrol for breakfast enough. Um, there's freaking is this a best, like, bro? I'd be here all day. All right. I'm literally on my knees, bro. Y'all can call this next level glazing, bro. But even if you don't like his music, I think you have to appreciate like what he's done, what he's doing and what he's done. I still don't think he gets talked about enough. Especially with music like this. Brother, like, come on. Like, come on, man. Brother, if I was home alone, bro, because my parents just got home. My mom just got home. <laughs> I was home alone. Hey, this chair? Nah, this is my good chair, man. I, I can't, I can't do, I can't do anything to this chair. That's why I, I have to limit myself. I have to limit myself, cause this chair, this is, this chair's all I have, bro. <laughs> oh, cause y'all know what happened to the last one. All right, y'all know what happened to the last one. All right, it's, it's getting its long, it's, it's getting its retirement. All right, it's long deserved rest. Okay, all right, we got one more. That was probably the most insane thing I've ever heard this year. That and caused severe skin burns. But I think I like that one a little more. Just, especially because of the B section. I guess one thing I could say also is, like, just, just the cherry on top, bro. Like, just, if you actually want to genuinely, like, destroy me in, like, every part of my body, you add, like, a vocal, like, along, like, with those little bell bass things just to finish me off you know what i'm saying just literally just put me on the floor like i actually passed out that's the one thing that i would say just to make it even better than it already is but that would be that'd be hard to do but that's the one thing i would say personally <sighs> all right we got one more guys let's let's go ahead and just let's just go ahead and do this let's just do this let's let's do this let's do this um this is brand new territory Brand spanking new territory, fatal if inhaled. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I am worried. Oh, please, bro, I swear. If this vocal is in the drop, I'm, 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 it's over. It's actually over. And it's oh, I have heard this, bro. Where did I hear this? I have no idea, but oh my... Bro, I really thought it was gonna be like, bro. Could you imagine like a hundred BPM petrol for uh, a one hundred BPM petrol for lunch? No, petrol for dinner. Petrol for lunch doesn't exist. A hundred BPM petrol for dinner, B section type drop. 
that actually would like destroy people. I think that would be next level. You got potential right here, bro. This vocal chop is, is, you have the piece of the puzzle. It's a bass loop in one of his packs. Oh. I think you're right. Perfect. I saw, okay. I saw some people in like the comments like really quick were like, uh, this is in four four time. Like, well, I don't understand the time thing. Guys, it's four four. I understood it. I understood. It took me like the first time I heard it. Like, I was like, hmm, this is weird. But since I think I have an advantage because I've heard I've heard this little bass loop or whatever before. Um. Yeah, it wasn't that hard. To, it wasn't that hard for me to follow. <laughs> Alright kids, follow after me! This part's easier to follow. But yeah, the flow, the flow is so off, like, it is pretty off at, at some point, so it's like, what the heck is going on? Damn, I didn't expect you to put the... Uh, use that and put this on here bro I, no i feel like i've heard this whole as a song me i don't know anymore man i don't know i'm i'm all over the place bruh i don't know it's so dotted it makes you think it's not four four yeah it's weird hi dietic by the way um well that was something um that was an EP, bro. That was, damn. That was so, that was so cool, bro. Joe B is back, man. I mean, he had an EP, he had an EP last year. But, I mean, the fact that like we're gonna get like even more music, right? Cause he said like most of these songs are coming out. Like, bro, like, we bet we better watch the hell out, man. Like, this is gonna be crazy, bro. I'm I'm thinking now what other tracks do I want from the showcase? You know what I'm saying? Like Who wants it? I think everyone wants that one. Oh, Sabatoire, dude. Yes, I need that one. I need this. I need this one. This foot. Yep, I need that one. I I need that one. I would like the stack collab as well. I don't really care for that one. We got the Wiley flow. Yeah, so I basically need everything from the showcase still. Besides like probably like one. Besides like one track. Um Yeah. Bro. You just drop a damn album at this point. Ha! <laughs> Actually, you know what? That's not a good idea. <laughs> that is not a good idea, bro. Could you ma- Nah, bro. Could you imagine if he dropped, like, every track? Or, like, most tracks from that showcase? Like, but he didn't drop the showcase. He just said, boom, album. Here you go, first time. Put it in raw, pause. Right? Yeah, no, um... The homie, boom. We never hear from him again. Um, you never hear probably from me again either. 
and it would be it wouldn't be real you know what i'm saying so but i mean there's also other here's the worst part <laughs> there's other artists that would <laughs> that would that are also still gonna probably release music this year that would make me do the same thing right there are very few out there, but they're out there. And they keep saying new music, blah, blah, blah. So, um... Oh, God. If Joby album came back, dude... Nah, I wouldn't come back from reaction videos, bro. I mean, this is basically a reaction video, but just me being lazy as hell. And just clicking a button instead of having to edit and everything. I don't know. These are just more fun to do, though, to be honest with y'all. So, it is what it is. <laughs> God. Um, Ka uh, oh, yeah, basic album. Yeah, guys, like, this is why I'm not dropping an album anytime soon. Because what the hell? Why would I compete? Why would I compete? Beast Boy, basic. I think Porter Robinson's dropping one, too, isn't he? Like... What are what are we doing? Why are, why would I why would I make an album? The hell? It's no. Imagine, bro. This is my worst fear. Oh, this is my worst fear, bro. Watch watch me, bro. Listen to me real quick. And y'all probably can relate at some extent. This project. Let's say I do make an album. It's finished. I make the visuals, I do the promo, I do everything, right? Because it's my project, and it, and obviously if I'm going to make an album, it's going to be extremely important to me, right? So I'm going to put probably a year, maybe even more into it. I'm going to make sure I got all the best tracks, all lined up, all transitions, all that. All that. Okay? 10 to 12 tracks, and it's done. It's my best project ever. And I put it on a certain release date. Basic album, Joby album, UK album, Dyadic album, all in the, Space Laces Voltage 5 or Voltage 4 all on that same Friday. <laughs> Brother, I am cooked. Like, <laughs> I'm postponing that album to next month. Like, why would I even try? That is my biggest fear. I put millions of years into an, a project just to get heated and just like bro by by route nights of the round table volume six like brother why would i try it's like you have to get into contact with like disciple and halcyon and whoever hey um when are y'all dropping, like, your next big project? You know, like, obviously, you're not going to be able to avoid, like, EPs and singles and whatnot. And maybe an album, right? Bro, bro, any of those artists that I just named, add Porter Robinson to that. Yeah, you're not getting any streams. Your album is, your your anything, whatever you're releasing, it's going to be forgotten. It's going to be forgotten. You're Nobody's going to listen to it. You're cooked to quit music, okay? Because these guys just completely said... The music, I should say. The music itself just stomped all over your project and you're cooked. You have no reason to make music anymore. Go get a real job. <laughs> go get a real job and go make your real money. Like a real American. Okay. Oh, but I'm not American. I don't care. I'm done. You gotta worry about Porter Rock, Phone On, and Basic. Wait, is is freaking is freaking um Phone On making an album too? I just thought about that, dog. I just thought about that last night. I swear on my mama. I was in the shower. I was washing my hair, and I legit told myself, "Where the hell Phone On been at, bro? Is he making an album too?" If you make an album and don't invite me, I'm gonna be sad. Do you understand that I asked you to collab like a year ago? Hmm. Actually, no. I asked you to remix Robot Chicken. And then you were like, why don't we make a song instead? And I was, yeah, I'm exposing our DMs. And I was like, you know what? That's a better idea. 
Ain't nothing happening, bro. I'm right here. By the way, if I do make an album, the closest thing I have to an album right now would be a melodic album, like Star Mage. But Star Mage wasn't an album. But y'all y'all know what I mean, right? So, but th that's, that would be the closest thing I, do, I have to an album, would be something like Star Mage. And I think that would be freaking awesome. So I don't know what could happen. But it ain't happening anytime soon. It, it, um, it would have to be, it have to be probably next year. I don't know. I've got other, I've got other, um, I've got other projects to work, to worry about first. So yeah, I finished. Sorry. I finished the Joby EP. Yeah. You're good. You're clear. You're clear. <laughs> Psych. <laughs> Sorry. Now you're good. You are safe, my friend. You are safe. You are safe. I think Wave Dash are also coming up with another album. I don't know who that is. Gesefelstein? Who? Uh, Skrillex? Ain't no way. No, wait. Another Skrillex album? Seriously? Bro, I think the basic album is going to be like... Out of all those people, I think Basic is going to be my favorite. And I don't even listen to Basic like that. But let me tell y'all something. From that little snippet that he dropped, bro, I'm ready. He dropped the smallest snippet, dog. It was the best chord progression melody I've ever heard. Listen to this. I'm sorry, I just sang over it, bro. Like, bruh, I'ma need that, bruh. I'ma need that, bruh. I'ma need that, bruh. Sheesh. Yeah, that was, that. that's like all I needed, bruh. I listened to that like, I listened to that like probably eight times in a row. No, listen, I, I do like basics music. I just, I don't go back to it very often. Um, I just don't, <laughs> I don't know. He does have some great, he does have some phenomenal songs. Though. Trust me. I just because I don't go back to an artist or I don't really listen to their music doesn't mean I don't hate their music. Okay. I just listen to my favorites all the time. Why? Because that's what you do. All right. And I also listen to other genres. There are other things that I listen to. I listen to rap. Guess who just dropped today? Cochise, all right? Cochise is my goat. And Drake, obviously. But Drake didn't drop, okay? Also, Lil Yachty is like, he was like my number one, e he was like my number one artist on Spotify last year. I was like, huh, bruh. Oh yeah, dude, Cochise is so, a meat writing? Guys, I'm, how is that? You know what, Tiffy? I don't want to hear it with you. And meat writing, I do not want to hear it with you, bro. I thought you were going to say Tom McDonald. Why in God's name would I say Tom McDonald? Bro, wait, can I just show y'all something? Actually, that reminds Bro, what's that one song where he goes like, he literally starts it off with, it's okay to be racist. Like, <laughs> There's no way, bro. What song is that, bro? I have to find it. I have to find it, bro. I, I'm actually, I'm scared I'm going to get copyright strike. God, could you imagine Tom McDonald copyright striping, striking this this stream? Nope. Mm. I don't like Tom McDonald. I don't think anybody does. And I'm, I'm a little worried about you if you do. I'm just, I'm just saying. What is that song? You know what? I don't know. Bro, it is the funniest thing I have ever seen, bro. Um, wait. If I could just find the snippet. Oh, hold on, bro. Is it Race War? Oh, it is Race War. It's, it's this freaking stupid song, bro. 
Hold on, let me. It's okay to be racist. <laughs> Wait. It's okay to be racist. I'm I'm done, bro. I'm done. <laughs> Bro, there was this one, there was this run reaction video, bro, of these two guys. I think it was like these two guys, bro. And they were just sitting there, right? And they were about a like literally three seconds in. Um and as soon as as, <laughs> as soon as he as soon as they started the video, they're just there watching it, right? And then all they hear is it's okay to be racist. And he just click off the video and walk away. Bro, I was crying. No, he... I, I, I think he actually, like... What is he? No, no, I don't fucking care. Get him off my screen. I'm sorry. Get him off my screen. I'm sure... He obviously did not mean it's okay to be racist. I don't think he's that stupid. But... I don't want to get political and all that because he's a freaking political rapper. Okay, that's not what this stream is about. This stream was about music. Well, Tom McDonald is about music. Anyway. I'm going to end it. I'm going to end it with, it's okay. <laughs> um, it's not okay to be racist, by the way. That just, just to let y'all know. Um... All right. Well, thank thanks guys um, for being here tonight. Uh, that was absolutely insane. Um, yeah, I just realized, bro. Geeked by Cochise is a minute thirty eight. That is that is awful, bro. Cochise, you are way better than a minute thirty eight music. Anyway, get out of here, guys. Have a great night. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I hate ending my stream because I, I don't know how to end it. I'm so awkward. Okay. Just leave. Go. Bye guys. I'll see y'all. Uh, I'll see y'all later. Bye bye now. There. Now I'll end it like that. Okay.